Alan West is a retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel. He served Florida's 22nd District in Congress. Then he served as Texas GOP Chair. Now, he was born in an era of segregation. He was born in a blacks-only hospital, even. But his success story should be an inspiration to everyone. Yet two weeks ago, he tried to tell his story at the University of Buffalo. And he had to be escorted off the campus by police because woke protesters mobbed the event. Well, nobody's going to let that happen to him here. That's for sure, because we're happy to have him. And I want you to give a warm welcome back to the show, Colonel Allen West. I had to tell uh, Colonel West as he came on, I whispered in his ear and I said, nobody's going to be giving you the bum's rush here on this show. That's well, I, sure. I figured that you'd have your security <laughs> escorting me out of the, the, the building uh, when it's <laughs> For all For old over. time's sake, right? Absolutely old time's sake. So what happened at the University of Buffalo? This is crazy. Well, it's absolutely crazy. And I think the thing that happened is that I did not toe the line. And so if you're obviously a black person in the United States of America now, you're supposed to hate America. America's racist. Uh, America was not established on July the 4th of 1776. It was established in 1619. But, Governor, the thing is, you and I born and raised down in the South. And when you think about the Little Rock Nine yeah. and what they went through, what was so appalling and telling for me was that we remember a time when black students had to be escorted onto a campus mm. when people were protesting. Now the fact that someone that grew up in the South has seen some racism and yet still became a lieutenant colonel in the United States Army when my dad was just a corporal in a segregated army in World War II, mm. that I had to be escorted off of a campus by blacks because of black students, that's appalling. And this is one of the things that we have to get under control with this whole free speech and this whole narrative because we have kids that don't want to hear the truth. That's as frightening to me. It's disturbing. And I'm amazed that you didn't just get really, really ticked off. Because it, it would seem to me, knowing the things that you saw and have seen in your lifetime, that these kids would say, how did you do it? How did you break through the barriers? They weren't interested in that. No, they weren't. They weren't interested in it. And the thing that the military teaches you is that you always remain calm, no matter what is going on around you. And I think that was to the advantage of exposing them. Uh, when you just peacefully walk right out and during the, uh, the presentation and the question and answer, which got crazy, uh, having the president of the Black Student Union there at the University of Buffalo saying that I'm an embarrassment, I, I wanted to say, hey, McFly, I got a bachelor's and two <laughs> master's degrees, okay? You ain't got any degree, okay? So I don't know who's the embarrassment, but, but I, I was telling the police that, you know, really, you guys are escorting me out. You're protecting me from them. Uh, but you have to maintain your calm in these situations. And it was an embarrassing moment for those students and for that campus and for the administration there. Is there a wake up though going on within the African-American community? I've looked at yeah. recent numbers that show that the traditional almost 100% support for Democrats has completely collapsed. Yes. And many, many more African-American voters are saying, we can't support this stuff. Because many of them are, are family oriented. They're uh, so many of them pro-life, they're pro-Second yes. Amendment, they, they're really conservative, but somebody told them they had to be Democrat. And that's the whole point. Uh, you know, I'm with the Patriot Academy now, and we've got to educate and inform people. We've got to get them to understand those principles and values. And you're absolutely right. When I'm standing up there and I'm telling the kids the number one issue facing the black community today is fatherlessness. Yeah. Only 24% of black kids have a mother and father in the home with them. Uh, the How much? 24%? 24%. Whoa. The, yeah. And when I was born in a blacks-only hospital, the number was close to 77%. Right. And it's the policies of the Democrat Party, Lyndon Johnson. You look at the failures of the education system, the lack of quality businesses and things of that nature. And then, of course, the gang violence. So as you start to bring out those points and talk to people about principles and values, not party, and the same thing we're seeing in Texas yeah. with the Hispanic community, they're awakening and they're coming around. You are involved with the, uh, the Patriot Academy. I want you to describe what is that and why 
does that matter to the rest of us? It matters because I think right now we are in an ideological war, an ideological mm. battle between constitutional conservatism and progressive socialism and Marxism. And we have got to start teaching, once again, our first principles, our declaration, our constitution, not just to our kids, but to our adults Absolutely. as well. And so that's one of the things that the Patriot Academy does. And the other thing is that we've got to get the Christian community to understand biblical citizenship. Uh, you're not just supposed to go along and get along. As a matter of fact, it says in Romans 12, too, that you're supposed to not conform to the world, but supposed to transform the world through the mind and the will of Christ Jesus as it is in you. I'm so glad that there is a spiritual element to the Patriot Academy because uh, sometimes people think if they're just, you know, good Americans, that that's all. But our country founded on biblical principles, that's simply just irrefutable that that's the case. Mm -hmm. Not that everybody that helped create America loved God, but there was an understanding that there was biblical truth upon which we needed yes. to be founded. And clearly the Patriot Academy is Absolutely, there is no it. other country in the world, Governor, that was founded on the premise that the individual is sovereign mm -hmm. because the individual receives their rights from a sovereign God, their life, their liberty, pursuit of happiness, or John Locke said property. So we have got to restore that understanding. And we've got to get people to remember John Locke, you know, natural rights theory, the laws of nature and nature's God, which is what Thomas Jefferson quoted in the mm -hmm. Declaration of Independence. You know, I always love being around you. You inspire me. You encourage me. Uh, you're, you're a true, honest-to-God American hero. I know about your military service and the things that you did of great valor. Uh, you serve this country with distinct honor and Thank valor, you. my friend, and you continue to do so. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks so much, Governor. Thank well, you. we've got all the links to Colonel Allen West so that you can keep up with him on real time in social media and so much more, including finding out more about the Patriot Academy. I hope you'll head over to Huckabee.tv. We have a link to Patriot Academy and to Colonel West.